Monsters, Inc. is a factory that generates electricity for the city of Monstropolis by the screams from children. Monsters enter the human world through the closet doors in children's bedrooms, which is dangerous work because humans are assumed toxic. Sully is the Monsters, Inc. top scare, while Randall Boggs is his fierce rival. One night, Sully discovers that Randall has left a door open on the scare floor in an attempt to harness screams after hours. As a result, a child named Boo escapes into the factory. Boo is discovered by Sully, who brings her home to Mike. When Boo enters Monstropolis, also, since children are becoming hard to scare, energy production is down. So CEO Henry Waternoose is determined to find a solution. Randall reveals that he has built the Scream Extractor to harness the screams of children to get a competitive edge over Sully. However, this also solves the company's production problem. CEO Waternoose decides to back Randall because it solves the problem, while ignoring the ethical issues presented. Monsters, Inc. is a story which is very popular with adults and kids alike. While the story is certainly entertaining, it also includes a number of scenes which can be directly tied to the concepts presented in this course. For starters, Monsters, Inc. presents a situation where all the characters are in an ethical dilemma that directly affects one another. This ethical dilemma is primarily caused by a severe lack of ethical decision making from top management, paired with an inability to make productive change. While the monsters are certainly aware that kids do not get scared like they used to, Water News decides to break monster law in order to continue producing electricity and keep the company afloat. Overall, the decision making of each of the primary characters also affects Monstropolis as a whole. It was our group's goal to take seven primary scenes and turn them into a practical tool for teaching management concepts to people of all ages. Monsters, Inc. is a show which is intended for all ages. While the content is appropriate for everyone, it specifically seeks to target people ages 18 to 35 in order to teach them about management concepts with a familiar medium and concept. James P. Sullivan, a.k.a. Sully, a large blue monster with horns and purple spots. Sully is the best employee and expresses the best character traits in doing so. Sully is trustworthy, ethical, and intelligent. Despite his personal abilities, Sully thinks with a company-first mindset and enjoys including others in his success. He works well with all others as he demonstrates this skill with his assistant, Mike. He does not boast about his position, so he can actually be seen as reserved at times. He has great qualities of an up-and-up -up manager. Sully exhibits managerial ethics. Mike Wazowski, a stout green monster with one large eye and skinny limbs. He is Sully's coach, station runner, best friend, and roommate. Mike is more charismatic and organized, yet his eccentric and neurotic behavior often lead him off course while working. Despite his flaws, Mike's outgoing personality is received well by almost everyone. Although Sully's best friend, Mike often stands as a contender to Sully attempting to sway and manipulate him to fit his personal desires and goals. Boo, a cute, brown pigtailed two-year-old who escapes from her door into the monster factory. Boo poses a stereotype in the workplace that seems horrendous. This is because she is human. This is the primary source of conflict in the plot. Based off previous rumors, Boo's carries an unknown stigma to her. She is confident, outgoing, and very accepting. Mike and Sully try to protect Boo from the bias of others by making her dress as a monster. To be like Randall Boggs, an eight-legged purple monster. He has chameleon-like abilities to change suit and blend in with his surroundings. His appearance is a symbol of sneakiness and ability to adapt to any given situation. Randall is a competitor of Sully for top scare position, as he has a strong relationship with Water News and wants to meet expectations. Although his abilities are recognized by his peers, Randall fails at gaining others' trust with his underhanded ways and crude pranks. Randall is forced to action when pressure from top managers begin to fall on him. He shows traits of high intelligence and understanding by innovating his own machine. Randall knows his actions were wrong, but in pursuit of getting big numbers, he lost sight of how business should really run. Henry J. Waternoose III, a bug-faced monster with crab-like body and appendages. He is the CEO of Monsters, Inc. The position was passed down to him through three generations of family ownership. There is an insinuation amongst employees that he is not equipped for the job. Water News takes a laissez-faire approach to the company, except in situations which require his presence. He is a mentor to Sully and wants to protect his best care. Water News attempts to please his employees so they will be more proactive in leadership roles. However, Water News is also concerned with keeping the company afloat. This concern causes him to engage in a secret agreement with Randall behind Sully's back, which demonstrates his failing to set good examples as top management.